Oh. Dang it. I did the trout set. That was so stupid. found a pot of tarpon here right in this opening I'm gonna, there's almost no chance of landing them so what I'm gonna do is just cut off the hook and see if I can at least get a take and get a jump out of it and that way I won't hook them he will just you know get a couple jumps he'll probably throw the hook Whew. oh there one just rolled right there okay two three okay I'm gonna get ready but look at what I'm standing on <laughs> how this is gonna work exactly. I'm gonna give it a shot though. Probably won't get much of the, if I hook it, won't get much of the fight on film, but maybe you'll get video of me falling in the water. Rolling? Yep. <laughs> oh. Nope, not off. Yeah, he got off. The line was broken, so it was really just a matter of him getting untangled. And he did. This is nuts. Yeah, it's not bad. Just a real... Got to bleed a little bit to succeed. Okay, whenever the uh, fish are real active, like they are this morning, I go with the top water. This is a stealth bomber. These are available on my in my Etsy shop, Everglades Flies. Let's see if it works. Cool. Those smaller fish are really hard to keep hooked up, but uh, you get a few jumps out of them. It's well worth it. That was cool. Big fish.
Well, that was a great way to finish my trip. Got to head out in about an hour and a half for the airport. Uh, but wow, just to finish it, the, literally the last spot that I fished. This is the first spot that I actually landed one of these tarpon. I hooked a bunch on this trip, but just bad luck landing them. Kind of smirky mistakes lifting a rod or just, just bad hook sets. But that's tarpon fishing, you never know. I mean, they're, they're under the best of circumstances, they're hard to land and hook well. So uh, anyway, it was a great trip, very cool. What do you think, Maddie? I like it here. <laughs> Different 